How is it going? Welcome to another episode of our Below Zero Adventure. Thank you so much for being here. I mean, come on now, what a view, right? This is exactly where we ended the last episode. So much happened, and this was a massive surprise. Look at this. <laughs> so we read up on it. It was called a Vent Garden, right? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, Vent Garden. So incredible. And apparently we can swim into this thing. So we got to try to do that. Let me get out of the sea moth. And we're maybe in a new biome. There's an alien artifact down there. Let me go ahead and shut off this. You know, it's been nice. Well, first of all, I hope you're having an amazing day. An amazing night. Thanks so much for being here. What's been nice is like, I haven't really had to worry about anything attacking the sea truck. Nobody wants to mess with it. Um, okay, so how are we going to do this? What's the play? We just swim in from the top? This has been a rush of a recording day between the last episode and, and this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now they said that this creature is friendly. Oh, wow. Can I actually go in? It's not from here. It's gotta be from the bottom. Oh, this is incredible. I was calling this thing the king of the eye jellies. Ah, oh, he's just I'm so very happy to be finding a new biome again. I can't stress that enough. I love it. I love finding new biomes. I love discovering new creatures. And this isn't just a creature. This is a leviathan. I can't break through. We gotta go all the way on the bottom or something. Hopefully it's, um... What's it gonna do? Is it gonna try attacking the thing? It's trying to attack the Leviathan. Let's be careful. Yeah, I can't break through though. And it stays on, on top of these vents here is what we learned. So we can actually go out, ready? <laughs> we can enter from here. Maybe? Yeah, it's working. We're going towards the light. That is trippy. That was so trippy. Is it looking at us? Is that like its eye? Amazing colors right now. So this actually is an oxygen. I thought this was gonna be a lot of oxygen, so we need to be careful. This is a new fish. No, it isn't. We need to be really careful. What was that noise? And we can't break out. This thing might accidentally kill us. I gotta go back. <laughs> I gotta go back really fast, everyone. I mean, look at the sense of scale of this giant thing right next to our sea truck. Let's bring this down closer. It's been really cool seeing those vents as well throughout this playthrough, and then now we're seeing it actually uh, interacting with this creature. Should I try seeing what happens to the sea truck? Rising temperatures detected in mineral-rich fissure below. Rising temperatures. Yeah, is that a problem? No shot is this going to work. Nope. Nope. But at least we'll be protected. Let's go ahead and fix this. Do we have an extra battery with our builder? Or as, uh, the search thing? Let's see. Um, This thing right here. We gotta get rid of this. Put it towards this instead. That's good. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, they said it was very rich down there. I wanna try going in there one more time just to see. It's just too awesome. It's not every day you get to do something quite like this, huh? It is a bit tough <laughs> wow 
Look at that. That is amazing. Come on. I don't know if this YouTube video if it's doing it justice, but that is really cool. It's like it's actually noticing us. I'm loving this music too. So fun. Amazing Leviathan, right? We've had so many friendly ones in this uh, Below Zero series. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm on this side. <laughs> you wish, you wish you could get me. I got my friend protecting me. How about them apples? <laughs> wow, right? That is so awesome. Hold me back. Hold me back. Right? So cool. All these different colors. Yeah, that everyone who worked on designing everything in this game, they just... They did such a phenomenal job. Love all the uh, creature designs so much. I mean, look, it's just stunning. All right. Let's go back. Where's uh, Slothamus? Where are you at? Ah, there you are. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. You're closer than I remember you being. Now then, are these new? These new, right? Let's go ahead and just swim around and take a bit of a look. This doesn't look familiar, but it could be. No? Huh? We, must, we must have already got this. Always a pleasure to see you two as well. Do, do, do. So 400 meters below right now. Oh, and this is like how it's latched on. Really neat giant quartz thing here. So apparently we can go below, below. There's the disgust fish. The heck was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Yo, should I look to see where the alien artifact was? Oh, this is a... This is that claustrophobic feeling. All right. 400 meters. This is the alien artifact. Okay, cool. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Well, I'll tell you this, it's, uh, it's pretty terrifying the sound effects down here. Heard some like screech thing. Architect, yeah, artifact again. This one looks like the other one that we found. What did it give us? Is it random? So we did help you. That, that did help you, right, Alan? Okay, let me double check this one. Yeah. It was this. Okay, let's go ahead and mark it. Well, we didn't get anything for it, but it helped out Alan, so that's good. Get this again. Oh, that was uh, that was a rush. It's just even like the purple water right now is uh, just something different. Just exploring a little bit at the same time, trying Seek to take it. Intake. 
Try and take it all in. See fluid intake. Well, now I kind of regret leaving our trailer behind. Xena says hi, everyone. Uh, Irish wolfhound in the next room. Do we have any water? We do have Biden water on us. We're fine. Do we have two of those? Yeah, we do have two of those. I need to find the thing that makes that. Okay, Slothamus. Where are you at? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Ooh, there we go. Wait, wait, where? Other side. Cutting it a little bit close. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but we're okay. Get all that back. Yeah, we did discover these already. I wonder, are we going to be seeing any more of those Leviathan? Or is that it? It's just one. Turn off my trailer. I wonder, should I try... Let me try scanning this really fast. Hold up. Really quick. I don't know if I did scan this thing. It looks amazing, too. I need to, like, appreciate the visuals of this. It's like a tree. This is what we first saw when we came here. Yeah, we haven't scanned it. Tree Spire. Tree Spire. Didn't they have a vision of, of something like this? Let's go inside. Epic shot. Look at that. Okay, so the Tree Spire, ladies and gentlemen... That's what they said they had a vision of another one. I wonder if, uh, is that the one we just found? So, Tree Spire, as hot gas pushed upwards through the planet's crust over thousands of years, the densely packed magnesium aluminum rich rock branched and split, resulting in these striking tree-like vent structures. The ecosystem that emerged in and around these vents is driven largely by the presence of chemosynthetic life forms, which ultimately attracted the vibrant thermophilic coral seen lining the spire branches. Has anyone played Slay the Spire? And why is that game so crazy addicting and amazing? If you haven't played Slay the Spy, you're highly recommend it. <laughs> it just so happens everyone on planet 4546B, all these creatures love that game. It is seriously so much fun though. Uh, but yo, this is really cool. We were saying it looks like a tree as well. So that is really neat. I guess I'll just do a quick scan just to make sure I didn't miss anything. That could easily be scanned. Just that is a uh, stunning sight. I think we're okay. I'm really hoping this isn't the dead zone. I need more. Is it going to be the dead zone? Oh, guys. Is it seriously the dead zone? It totally is the dead zone. All right. Oh, that was fear. Like, backing up right into... Uh, <laughs> into those rocks. Man, I can't believe it just ends. That can't be it. That cannot be it. So let's actually take a look at our map here. I mean, I guess we're over in this direction. So this will, uh, this will eventually lead into the lily pad zone. just look around here then there has to be I I know you subnautica I know sorry I know there's more than meets the eye in a lot of these places there are hidden things to find we found one 
We found one hidden alien room. We And we know there's one teleporter. We haven't found the second half of that teleportation place. Really have to scan absolutely everywhere. And usually there's like something, something to kind of pique your interest. This looks like we're merging into the lily pad zone. Oh, sorry, sorry. 400 meters below right now. So dark here. That must be a squid shark. There's nothing else out here. Hello. I wish we had like an upgrade that could increase the range of what we can see. This is going to be the dead zone again. It's the dead zone again. Hmm. So we could go this way. I mean, this is pretty far out. Uh, we gotta be like right here and I'm already getting hit by the dead zone. Well, if this is the mining site, eh, eh, maybe we're out here, I don't know. We're playing that dead zone music. Well, here's what we can do. We could go down to where Margaret is and we can bring our sea truck. Maybe that's the plan. Go see what's below because we haven't really explored around where uh, where she is. I'm just surprised because I was expecting more wrecks around here. We just have that one. What would this be? I mean, this looks... Just a giant, like, mountain spot. What the heck is going on with this? Hmm. Right, like, it drops all the way down. Oh, my gosh. Where are we? Let me, let me take a look at where Margaret is. That's going to help us find our bearings. Do, do, do. Last known position right over there. So, is this just going to... Oh, I was going to say maybe this was the mushroom place, but... It isn't. It might be absolutely nothing. It does keep dropping. Was this the, the volcano? It's just the dead zone again? Dude, the dead zone is constantly creeping up on me. Hmm. All right, all right. Sorry, so sorry. It looks just a dead end. Okay, we well. Yeah, uh, they did say something about like the mercury or something. I remember Frosty saying something, but that was so long ago. Because, like, apparently there should be a base around us. Do we think the base is actually on the lily pads? And I just missed it this whole time? I mean... That would be pretty impressive. We've got Glowy over here. Double check this real quick. Because, yeah, it says there's, like, this station. But is it underwater or is it all the way up? Let's go all the way up really fast. We're at 59% charge, huh? I feel like we would see it. All right, let me do this the old fashioned way. Look at the reflection of the colors. Is that not stunning? You can see the reflection on the surface of the water and now we have a, a sunrise. Hmm. Now it's got to be below us. It's got to be below us, right? It's 
so crazy you can see lightning striking all over the place only a madman would build something out of the water here and I don't think it's uh I don't think the actual station is here so there are certain things we know we can do we know we can build the hydraulic, the, the fluid, the hydraulic fluid, whatever, because you just need gel sacks and all that. We, we have that. That isn't a problem. Um, but I, uh, I want to explore. I want to go explore down in the water. We just spent so much time exploring on land. That would be really fun. It would be really fun to go see what's uh, going on over there, but I, I need to see more underwater stuff. I don't remember how deep it got next to Margaret. Here's what I do remember is it was crazy tough to find where she was, so let's uh let's just move down here where it might be a little bit safe. And then I did leave a beacon there, right? So it should be easy. Should be easy to find her. I really hope so. Hmm. Okay. You would think I had it memorized by now. Let's go ahead and turn this on. I call it the best friend's house because, you know, we're best friends. You know, speaking of gel sag, sag, we might be able to make this right here. We have so much of, um, see what it is you need to make this. Here it is. Uh, four gel sags. Well, and the creep vine cluster. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to find creep vine cluster down here. I can't remember. Oops. This turn into the lights? Yeah. Please let this be right. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing these lights here. Okay, we should be on the right path. Oh, that was brutal trying to find this thing for so many, uh, so many attempts. We're going down here without everything. Come on. Let's go. We're back with our best friend. I want to see how deep it got. Okay, so Mercury Station. Where the heck is it? Like down here? Because it's not her. Should be something else. We got a couple different options. Oh, I guess we could have scanned one of these much sooner because there's more here. Let's just go explore see what we can find because look how beautiful this is wow it just it just changed colors look at that the one thing I'm a little bit worried about is uh, my battery level <laughs> that's the one thing we can go further below here these are all just thermal plants. Oops, I'm sorry. Super sorry. Is that a new mushroom? Go ahead and double check that. I'm just gonna double check that. It's a lot of thermal plant stuff. It's just where they have their base, huh? Oh yeah, here we go. Gotta find something good here. Oh my gosh, right? Let's go look. <laughs> really try not to miss anything. There is something there, but what's this? So thermal plant again, and we have, yo, booster tank, use oxygen to give a speed boost. Heck yeah. Let's go, let's go everyone. We gotta seek fluid intake. All right, let's quickly equip this. Will we be able to find something really quick? Yeah. I think we've always suffered down here. Every time I go down here, we're always crazy hungry and thirsty. I really need to find... Hold still! I need to find that water thing. 
Vital signs stabilizing. Can we scan this? We cannot scan that. Pardon me, one moment, one moment. I'm going to drink up as well. But this will buy us some time. I wonder, the last time we came down here, do we have one of these thermal blades? That's a good way to collect a little bit of water. So we got a new booster tank that will help us swim even faster, apparently. That was a neat find. And it looks like it might just be a little dead end over here. That was sick. Okay. Let's just look around a little bit more and make sure we didn't miss anything. Like this PDA. <laughs> Abandoned PDA. Number one. We were meant to go here. We were so meant to go here earlier. Yeah, especially because we're giving us so many thermal plants. That's awesome. Good job, everyone. Well done. Uh, this person just like right here. I mean, I, I kind of have to, right? Sorry. 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 There we go. Okay, let's let's listen to this. Let's listen to this over here for a moment, just a little bit away, because this will be a voice log. And I wanted to find this. I was trying to find this so much earlier. I can't remember where we found log number two, but log number two talked about how Margaret left, uh, how they survived getting to the surface, right? They went to the surface, but we didn't hear what happened before they went to the surface. There I was, 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. Wow. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void, just me and ocean, nothing else. My biggest fear, totally, waking up and just seeing water, and that's it. Oh, heck no. Yo, she's a beast. And yeah, the Reaper is so incredible. Well, let's go ahead and see. That makes me happy. So, I imagine we need to find more logs. I can't just end on that. I want to know what happened after the events of, you know, more. Because this takes place after Subnautica. So, does she, like, meet, like, a sea emperor or something? Let's see what's going on over here. It might just be a dead end with nothing, but we got to look just more of these thermal plants so many while we're here I'm just gonna grab those I guess I'll grab these too I don't remember I didn't really use these but I say that every time I grab those <laughs> and I'm still grabbing them power cell is looking pretty depleted everyone one of them is almost done but we've got some exploring still to do so this was one of two ways. I think there was another way to the left of us. Now nah, it looks like it just led, it led right here as well. Well, that was amazing. That was definitely worth it. This is one part. There might just be a dead end over here as well. I don't think I had the rebreather last time I came here. So it was just a constant struggle for air. I don't know. It's been a while since those episodes. Okay, so over there was... Is that where the base was? The base is right over here. 
We're going over here right now. Yeah, yeah, so that's where, where she's at. Let's go ahead and look over here, see where this takes us. Probably, if Margaret is, is here, it's probably a very good spot. I'm shutting off all my beacons because I want to get immersed. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything dangerous around if she's living right there. Granted, she's not afraid of anything. That's what I mean. It looks like it gets deeper. 400 meters, almost 500. We're going down. Sick. We got these giant crystals here. <laughs> this isn't the Kyanite, I don't think. Oh, uh, we've got one of these. All right, hold up. What is this? Large crystal formation. Wow. Really cool. I love that. Let's see if we can find... Let me keep the map open. Yo, Sam, I want to try to find you too, all right? So large morganite formation. Morganite is a rare variety of beryl, a durable mineral consisting of beryllium, aluminum, silicate. Its uh, striking purple coloration is an indication that trace amounts of, uh, of manganese were present during formation. Cool. More music. Let's go over here. Sick, right, everyone? <laughs> hey there, friend. Look at them break dancing to the music. Sick moves, I love it. This is something new. Is that kyanite? I think we just found kyanite. Okay, so we've got a jade membrane. Almost looks like a spider web. Jade membrane. This species features multiple circular nodes that are filled with a thin green membrane with a scattering of luminescent white dots. The membrane is mildly sticky and emits a pheromone that draws small fish and microbacteria that get caught in the membrane and then digest it. Yeah, I think this was kyanite. Hold up. Hold on. What we got? We got that kyanite. Let's go. This is definitely, they wanted us to go here, and I'm just here a bit late. Um, cool, cool. It's high temperatures. We remember this from uh, the first game. It's just something we need to use to craft things. Most importantly, like, holy cannoli, look at this. We're going to have a bunch more over here. I want to go see what that's up. What's up with that? Oh, there's another one over here. Let, let's collect all the kyanite. We need the kyanite for the test module thing so we can deactivate the tower. Oh, so many different storylines. We've got Alan, Margaret, and Sam. And I want to do I want to do more with Sam, but I need to find these labs. So maybe it would be like do the hydraulic thing. Because I don't have a beacon yet for whatever lab was supposed to be over here. Unless we're about to find it. 500 meters. Like we could easily get the 650. <laughs> And be in trouble. Let me actually look. Speaking of that, did we need kyanite for... Here's the booster tank. Oh, this is even better. Heck yeah, it's the same amount. I love that. We gotta try that out. Yo, high capacity O2 tank and wiring kit. We could try that. We can definitely try that. Now, for the upgrade, we do need this right here. So, it's kyanite. We still haven't found nickel ore. Hmm. We do have this one, I believe, though. I think we do have level two, right? We're just missing level three. Should I try scanning this? Seek fluid intake. Oh, again with the fluid intake. I wish I could eat this stuff. Can we eat this stuff? Bladderfish. Grab this guy and I. 
just going to have to waste my last precious. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah. Better be after I use all that. Let's get another one. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Ah, uh, you know what? They're fine. They're chilling. We're okay. Really cool sound effects here. Reminds me a bit of... Like what you hear when you're around the eye jellies and stuff. Secret code word for this episode... Crystals. Secret code word is crystal. And, uh, heck, I'm really putting the Chris in Crystal, aren't I? My name's Chris, by the way. It's Dream, it's Chris, and we're over here with the Crystals. I also made it to the Crystal Peaks in Hollow Knight. I'm, I'm seeing an arm. What's up, Ladderfish? 540 meters. No, nope, 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 nope. That is a no. That is a no thank you. A Leviathan class creature is near. And they didn't say that to us with the giant vent one. So this has got to be a dangerous one. I wanted to go drill that arm. I wanted to go scan that arm. You stay right here. Okay, if we're fine, we're all right. We'll go super... I just wanted to scan this one arm. Like, how close, right? It's so close quarters. I'm not going... I just wanted to scan this one arm. Pronsu Torpedo. Dude, scan it. Scan it. And we gotta get the heck out of here. Pronsu Torpedo arm. We need one more. I'm seeing the last one. Okay, just grab this. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. There is something there. I just saw it. I just saw it. Oh, I just saw it, guys. I'm going to go for it. I'm going. We just need one more for a torpedo arm. Just scan it, dude, please. It's a prawn suit propulsion arm. Please, please do it fast, do it fast, Frosty. Hurry up! Yo, Margaret, what the heck are you doing here if there's a Leviathan around here? Do you know about that? That is gonna be so incredible. Okay, well. Oh, all right. <laughs> <sighs> wow one two three how many more do we need how many more do we need wait I needed kyanite for something it was for the depth module but I still no it's not enough it wasn't we need the processing unit I'm, I'm still missing two of these I can't believe I haven't found more found more of those unless they're all in the same ship which would be so whack hmm I don't know it's a dangerous game everyone it's a dangerous game I'd have to work so crazy hard let me just look at what it takes to build the depth one more time Do, do, do. It was only two. Nah, I feel so tempted. I feel so tempted. I have to see. I have to know. We're going to be fine. We're going to use these things as a shield. And maybe we, we can go down here. Yeah, this is like a nice... Look at this. Nothing... This is way too close quarters. We have another one of these. Torpedo arm. This could be the second one we need. Oh, 
it just opened up. Meters. Oh! Yeah, I don't know about that, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> no way, man. What the heck? <laughs> this is pure panic. I am out of here. That could have been our opportunity to scan the thing. Look at that. It is massive. It's kind of like the ghost. Wow, man. Yeah, it's not done. It's not done. It's not done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no. no dude. dude, I'm going to try scanning it. I'm going to try scanning if we can. Shadow Leviathan. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We got to get the heck out of here. That's insane, man. Oh, no way. Nope. I gotta get back. Nah, one more hit, we're dead. That was so cool. Where are you at, Slothamus? <laughs> that was so cool. What was the shadow? The shadow Leviathan? Oh. Literally, if, could I actually do it though? I don't have any med packs. I don't have many any med packs. I don't even know if I'd be able to make it back down here. Do I dare risk it? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, everyone. We're gonna try to scan this thing first try. And I think we just lost all our progress, right? It's an incredible spot. Realistically, what are the chances I'm going to be able to do this right now? This is such an incredible area. It's probably, I, yeah, I would say I have like a, like 0.5% chance. But you're telling me there's a chance. We saw that thing all the way up here, dude. It's way further down. It's this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh no. Oh no. No way, dude. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, that was terrifying and totally worth it. <laughs> that was so cool. Yo, I wonder if there's an animation for the Calisserade killing you. That was sick. That was so sick. I feel so tempted to try scanning it one more time. I'm going to try one more time scanning it at full health, everyone. Out in the open. If I don't get it this time, we're going to leave. It's time to go home. I'm gonna try one more time. I couldn't even. I tried pressing all the buttons. I'm trying to dodge. I'm trying to press the C. I'm trying to remember the five D's of uh, Subnautica. He he likes to go all the way over here or something. Yo, I'm gonna bring him over to you. You better punch him, please. They say we lost resources. I don't even know. Well, there he is. We're gonna use we're going to use this for a moment! <laughs> Shadow Leviathan! Let's go! So close! So close! Let's go! Shadow Leviathan! Absolutely awesome! <laughs> that is such a cool one. Come on. That thing looks incredible. I think he's attacking the other thing. Nope. That is just so amazing. That is just so awesome. Well done, everyone. 
Well done. I gotta get the heck out of here. <laughs> so much respect for that Leviathan there. They are way too cool. Dude, he looks so sick. Oh, gosh. Yep. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm getting out of here. Please. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it back in time. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to duck down here if he turns around. He, I think he just went into the thing, so that's not a good plan. <laughs> that was incredible. The Shadow Leviathan. I love the look of it. So we met, that is the second deadly Leviathan we've met in this game. Let's check this out. Where are they at? Ah, uh, here we are. Look at this, Leviathan's Glycerate and Frozen Creature. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess we met that Leviathan as well, huh? The Shadow Leviathan. Shadow Leviathan. This is a massive 60 meter plus Leviathan that appears to be the odd convergence of several evolutionary offshoots. So, shovel-like head. Yeah, dude, that design is so cool. Like, what the heck is this thing right here? It's like a rib cage almost. So shovel-like head, the streamlined head of the Shadow Leviathan helps it slice through water as it approaches its prey. Beneath its smooth skin is thick head plating that is used as a battering ram to ward off competing Shadow Leviathans during a mating season. I want to see two of these like in the same frame, you know? Um, so segmented legs. That may be like these right here, huh? Segmented legs. The legs are covered in a thick segmented exoskeleton similar to an, uh, an arthropod. The Leviathan's legs are used less for propulsion, which is left to its blade-like tail. The tail is sick. And more for hunting prey. The thick legs fold open over captured fauna like a cage. I got the experience what that was like. While the strong exoskeleton protects the tissue beneath from damage as the Leviathan feeds. Bioluminescent digestive tract. The, the, uh, the shadow Leviathan's mouth leads directly to its digestive tract, which it secretes a highly acidic compound onto captured prey. This bioluminescent cavity attracts light seeking phytoplankton, which in turn draw larger fish yo this thing is like 20 steps ahead of everything on this planet assessment extreme threat avoid at all cost i thought that one was so amazing the shadow leviathan everyone absolutely awesome yeah that was that was incredible oh what a rush that was so sick everyone well, let's head back. I gotta tell Margaret, like, yo, do you know there's a Shadow Leviathan not too crazy far from where you are right now? Isn't Margaret, like, right up here? And what is this? It's like a dead end, right? If you go all the way this way. Yeah, it just leads there. You, you have to you have to go down. That was incredible. We're at 49 power. I didn't want to risk bringing in the, uh, the truck. I didn't know if I died, it would bring me right back into this truck. Is that new? Let me know, everyone, when you died in Subnautica. Oh, well, we got this. But we've been here before. Okay. We have been here, but I'm gonna go double check anyway. I don't remember this. Does anyone remember what was in there specifically? Um, so if you died in Subnautica 1, did it bring you back into the the Seamoth? I feel like it didn't. I remember dying to the ghost and having to go back to my Seamoth, actually, in the first Subnautica. That was so cool. Now we know how to, uh... How to... You know, well, we, were, we always knew how to help Margaret. I really want to help her, but we're just not ready for it. The most brutal part is that I need to find those processing things. It's like, unless they were in that one wreck, I imagine there are more wrecks. There's no shot, it's only in one wreck. That would be, again, whack. Totally whack. Let's go back up. We're at 48% charge right now. Yo, let's go everyone. Sea monkeys are awesome. 
That's going to be the other secret. That's the secret code phrase. Just sea monkeys are awesome, or anything about the sea monkeys in a comment down below. Just a little bit of sea monkey appreciation because they're just so amazing and they deserve all the love. The Shadow Leviathan, that was so cool. I can't believe we found two Leviathans in one episode. Pretty much one recording day. I've been really wanting that. I mean, you know, we found another uh, Leviathan as well the other day, the frozen one. I imagine we have this already, but I'm gonna go double check. Aquarium, okay. Yeah, the Shadow Leviathan, that thing was so cool. Hmm, there has to be the, uh, that Mercury. I remember them saying there was a ship or something, but I, did I find that already? Did I find the ship that Frosty was talking about all those episodes ago? I just find that hard to believe. Where is this one station? I'm running out of power. We're just gonna make our way back. Okay, well this looks like it could be something. This looks like it could be something interesting, right? Just a giant root system. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, this could be something. It's kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Let's go out here and uh, see what this is. Sea monkeys have something. We probably already have it, but... Yeah, we have that already. Wow. Yo, imagine if the... The Shadow Leviathan met the Clisserate. That'd be so cool. And the Clisserate definitely doesn't want to go down there. <laughs> They're like, heck no. I'm alright. All of these falling over. There has to be. There has to be something. Oh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Let's go. This is the best. Bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Let's go. Inoperative. I've been trying to find this thing. We finally found it, everyone. Oh, there's so much to find here. A whole massive wreck. I love the weather effects as well. Let me check the map really fast and make sure this is um, not any of the stations, right? This isn't the actual station. This is something else. I don't know where the heck that station is, but all right, let's go exploring. We're getting so hungry. <laughs> I think it's just metal salvage, yeah. Hmm. It's like, do we have our light on? It's just so dark. What? What was that? What was that? How? How do you know I was here? I gotta get into this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to park this uh, down here. Let's just leave it right here. Here we go. There's no shot. Dude. Leave me alone. Think about what you did. That's right. We just put them in timeout. I think they would only go after us. Okay, we have an entrance. Oh, this is gonna be a lot. This is gonna be a lot and we are so hungry. Hopefully we can. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks to them, we're able to explore here a little bit longer. Do we have our laser cutter? We do have a laser cutter, right? Oh, thank goodness. Nice. <laughs> Let's use our laser cutter. Oh, man. I haven't used this thing in forever. So this is really awesome. Do, 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 do. 80%, 90%, here we go. 
I'm seeing like a glow up there of something. Could be something. Really cool here how all this grew in. It's like how many years, how many years has this been down here? Uh, there's so much I want to see. Oh, I'm seeing a PDA here. I hope this has voice acting. Sorry, friend. Oh, please! Water filtration! Oh! Come on. Th that's fine. It's fine. It's all right. We'll take it. Send your energy so we find the water filtration suit. That's the, the last thing I want. I've got this massive list of things I've always wanted in this game. <laughs> it's like, you're not happy? Gave you two leviathans today. Okay, we can cut this open. Maybe it'll give us a power cell. Reactor rod. Okay. It's cool that those are sealed off. Okay. PDA. Mercury 2 PDA. I'm alive. Yes. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, yeah. ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so Dang. much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my seat anchor. That would be terrifying. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. Oh, I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Uh, did anybody just see me almost die? Did anybody just see us almost die from lack of oxygen? <laughs> uh, sh 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 there's a, a there's a shark right there, dude. We almost died. I was just, I was so immersed in the story, and I was just thinking like I was just I was just visualizing all of it, and uh, voice acting is so fun. And then there I am looking at my oxygen meter, and it's about to go out, and we managed to save it with the air bladder which i didn't know until like two episodes ago well three episodes ago i didn't try that for the you know that's when i tried it for the first time that just gave us a little bit more oxygen <laughs> oh that was that was crazy okay so what the heck happened at the end i, I need to bring that back everything went black Jim, we hit the water no how hit the water and everything yeah, went everything black. went black <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. Hmm. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. Yeah. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. Yo, I'll save us. Let's go, Yasmin. Um, I'm excited to hear more about that. I was also just thinking, like, how cool is that? We're getting another story here, and massive bonus points for the fact that it's voiced. I love that. Okay, where the heck is that entrance? But yeah, that is so terrifying. Can you imagine the whole crash landing? It's a little, you know, just, well, I guess we all could, right? From a Subnautica 1, and even this game. But just, like, the storytelling of it ripping open and people flying out, you know, that's bringing me back to, like, that show Lost absolutely terrifying okay let me, let me grab another one of these just a little thing of water we need every little bit we can get 
Thank you so much, everyone. Seriously, thank you for supporting the, these videos, these series, this series. It would mean a lot to press the like button. If you want to help me out even more, that would uh, really mean a lot. It's been really cool. I'm having so much fun playing through this, and y'all are so awesome. It's so cool. There are people every week, every episode, commenting and watching these videos. It's, I'm honored, everyone. <laughs> so honored. I'm gonna take that copper wire. Okay, so we found that. That was a good find. What else are we going to get? We got some metal salvage. Not bad. Take that copper wire. So, I, the thing about the Rex is I, I do love having two. Oh, yo, do we need a propulsion cannon? Unless I can just... <laughs> oh, I can take this. I can't believe I almost missed that one. I think we need the propulsion cannon for this, which I still haven't found, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we'll find it today. Sorry if I move so fast sometimes. I'm like really trying to scan. What do we got here? Is it sealed? It is sealed. Are we thinking it's the same thing? What is that? The, the classic... The classic repair tool instead of... I don't even know what I want to get rid of, man. I gotta get rid of the repair tool, I guess. Synthetic fibers? They got that locked up? It seems like our next move is to go. We're fine. We're fine. I gotta go now through um through that, but I will look in here really quick. No, we did it. We did it, right? We didn't miss anything. Let's just go back, get our oxygen, and then we'll go through. Um, we got this upstairs area as well. I don't know if we looked there. Got this like shark is just chilling. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Stop. Leave me alone. Please, bring this all the way over here. Don't make me do it. I don't even have enough power for that, I think. No, we do. Okay, do this fast. Ah, uh, sea glides running out of juice, everyone. Yo, how do I keep doing this? Where is the entrance? <laughs> Metal salvage. Yeah, my sea glide is running out of power. Let me just spend 20 minutes trying to find the entrance to this thing. Let's look through here. I don't think we looked through here yet. Okay, we got an extra power cell. That is good. We can use that with our sea truck. What the? Oh. Oh, wiring kit? Sure. You know it'd be very nice a battery. I would not say no to a battery right now. Okay, this next part is where it's about to uh, get very, very real. Just a whole lot to see. This right here. It's amazing to see the fish in the wreck as well. Let me know down below if uh, if Subnautica won, if there were fish in that oh we got an alien containment let's go so if i uh, you found fish or there were fish in the wrecks dude what are you doing you attacking my ship why are you trying to ruin a happy moment we got the is it attacking my ship guys this is not i gotta see what we can swap out I, okay it's gonna be the habitat builder I think it's fine. I don't think it was attacking it. I, I, we're okay. We're okay. Just uh, keep moving. We got PDA here. Trusting my instincts with Diana. Let's 
So cool. Oh, there's a little oxygen plant here. Let's go. Dude, water filtration. Water filtration. Please. We got another PDA over here. Okay, so we could do that. We could break through that. There's a whole other level. Just want to kind of get an idea. Oh, well, you don't even need to break through the door. Oh, never mind. No, no, you do. This is a totally different spot. <laughs> it's still going, man. This is a massive wreck. All right, oxygen plant. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, with oxygen plant here, I think we could listen to this. So trusting my instincts, Diana. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Let's go ahead and grab this. So it's like a patent on discovering a new life form. So is it? <laughs> this is from the Mercury. So all these creatures we've discovered, would this be technically like Altera? Altera is making money on all these creatures, all the discoveries we've made thus far. But this is someone else, right? Mercury, it has nothing to do with Altera. Or maybe, I have to look. I've got to look to see if I see their logo around anywhere. That's such an interesting thing. Like, I, that wouldn't even cross my mind. Like, oh yeah, we're going to make so much money discovering a species. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. How are you looking, Slothamus? 85 health, you're fine. Yeah, that is, uh, that's really interesting. Dude, can you please? It's, it's not here. Okay, we're fine. Did we get a first try? We did. Well done, everyone. Seek fluid intake. Oh, no. You know what? I really wish I had... Dude, what, where am I? What? This isn't even the room. What are we doing up there? I really wish I had my trailer, everyone. I really do. Uh, we don't have it. And now we're super thirsty. And I could have just grabbed some bladder fish if I had my trailer, used the fabricator, and that would have been amazing. Instead, here I am. Oh, no. Do I have any water at all? Okay, we've got no water. I'm about to die from dehydration for, by the dumbest way possible. Okay, please, I need you. You will be the hero. Any of you, please. Any of you, please, 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 please. Please. <laughs> We're at six. Oh, this is going to be a long one, huh? <laughs> Jeez, it barely gives us any. That's crazy. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. I'm out here trying, okay? Ah, oh, all right. That's 16. Maybe we'll get very lucky in this room and we'll find some water. Water! I need water, please. I need it. So brutal. I, I feel so bad for you, Robin. I wish I could help. Oh, that is just refreshing. Okay. Let's turn on this light. Please be water. What the? Yo, potatoes. We got potatoes. Can we eat one of those decomposing? 
yet. Be careful, read it. I was about to get rid of all our H2O. We have this grow bed. We, there's no shot we have this grow bed already. Is, is that an interior grow bed? Because we have the exterior one, but we don't have the interior one. Please. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Dude. Dude, this is killing me right now. We can't get this either. It's hard to believe those are out of water. Those are in water ones. When uh, this is all underwater right now. Like, why would that oxygen. be there? All right, let's go ahead and use this with our pro plays. Oh, we are struggling. We are struggling, everyone. Let me go ahead and get all my oxygen back. This is the thing about this biome. It's a tale as old as time, a song as old as rhyme. Seek fluid intake immediately. Seek fluid intake immediately. Dangerous weather approaching. Oxygen. Those are the three. Okay. All right, we need to return here. This is, this is too much. How far away? I need something. I need... How far away is, uh... Is my trailer, at the very least? What the... 900 meters? Okay, well that's not going to work! I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Please. We need to... We need to come back here, everyone. There was a plant here. I can't remember which one it was, but it hooked me up. Was it this one? Is it this plant? Are you the chosen one? The heck? It's not that one? There was one that I grabbed that was just so delicious. I know this guy's about to be a jerk. Okay. Um, well, for our next trick, let's... Okay, please, how far away is VIP base or hidden base or just anything, anything. Just get me out of here. Anywhere but here. That's a thousand meters. I don't know if I'm going to make it, everyone. Okay, is this a bladder fish? Please be if you're a bladder fish. Okay, I'm going to have to go to VIP base. Grab it, grab it. Thank you, bladder fish. Here we go. Thank you, bladder fish. Here's, we got all the bladder fish now. We're okay. We're okay. And we even have room for nothing. Okay, I just, I need to get to VIP base right away. I need to be there yesterday. VIP base, where are you? There's so many, there's so much. We got three, dude, I gotta drop something. Okay, drop, drop the gold. I need to uh, quickly, quickly, we need someone. I need a volunteer, I need a volunteer, please. Please, Boomerang, you're the first one I saw. I'm about to die from dehydration, Boomerang. Get over here! Okay, you, 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 please. Please. Oh gosh, I have to eat. It's minus H2O. Oh, please! Thank you, we're good. Okay, we bought a little bit of time. Okay, bladderfish, do you give like a lot of H2O? If we use you to make water, you should give a bunch. It is cooked. Plus four H2O, okay. All right, where is my truck? Where's my truck? What the? Dude, do I not have the, the thing's not on, right? That's all. Where you at, Slothamus? Ah, there you are. There you are, Slothamus. Always so sneaky. Okay, well, we know how to get here. That's the good news. Okay, so VIP base is right here. VIP base is right here. Look at this, 200 meters. Autopilot! We wouldn't be having this problem if I just brought my trailer with me. We gotta keep our trailer with us, everyone. I want to make another horsepower thing, because that thing is just so slow. No offense, Slothamus. Alright, this is VIP base here. We haven't been here in a minute. I gotta charge this thing up. We got so much we need to do, but look at this. It's, uh, it's snowing. Ow. I always have trouble. Sometimes it lets me click, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. 
Wow, I just took a ton of damage. Okay, quickly, just please let me drink some water. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, thank goodness. Just make all that. Make it all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One more, please. Cheers, Robin. You you earned this. Well done today. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh. Good job, everyone. Do you have any random stuff here? Well, we got an extra power cell, so that's good. Okay. Let's listen to this PDA. While we're at crazy low health. Aliens. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is every xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, which means civilization, and civilization means da -da -da -da, language. Oh, man. And now most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug and die in his ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. Aww. I'll be able to give them so much more. Jeez, like out here just trying to provide for a better life, and then they've got loved ones, and most likely they didn't survive, is what, um, is what I'm thinking. We're gonna have to go back and learn more, everyone. But, uh, that does it for today. Let's go see the weather outside. So cool, man. So cool. The VIP base, everyone. Another amazing couple of days on Planet 4546B. Maybe we're on day 73 right now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I had so much fun today. Next time, we have to go back to that wreck. There's more for us to find. Hopefully, we find the water filtration suit. No, no, not the, the water filtration system. I don't want to use the water filtration suit. <laughs> Even though it, it could have, you know, it could have come in handy dangerous today. Weather approaching. Um, Seek shelter. One last dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter from Frosty here. Wishing everyone an amazing rest of their day, an amazing rest of their night. Thank you so much for watching. If you could do me a favor and press the like button if you had some fun today. Subscribe if you haven't already. All the support means the world. A massive shout out to our patrons and channel members for helping make these videos possible. I really appreciate all the love and all the support and it really does help. So thank you so much. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I hope to see you soon. Later, later. Oh, but check it out. This is the last little thing, everyone. This is it. Look, right after, it's the calm. It's the calm after the storm. So nice, right?